Hey guys, so I've got a little bit of a different video today. Um, I have been massively struggling with my skin. Um, and I've never really had acne like what I think I've got at the moment. It is a lot better than it's been and I just sort of thought that we could get real and I could do a video with you all just to show you how I am covering it up at the moment and talk you through sort of the process for how I am trying to sort it all out. So um, just so that you can really see, it's pretty bad. Um, a lot of this now is just sort of healing um, and I've had it on both sides, um, a little bit between my eyebrows as well but all in this hormonal area. So yeah, it's pretty awful and um, something I've been really embarrassed with. I've lost a little bit of weight this year and um, I would have to say that having bad skin is worse than feeling overweight because this is what you put out there to the world and um, yeah, it just feels really crap when you don't look your best like this is pretty awful. I've had my best friend here last weekend and then my sister here this past weekend and um, they were both like, whoa, it's kind of bad. You need to get onto that. So anyway, um, I'm going to start with the tutorial and just talk you through what I've been doing with my skin. So to start off with, I'm using the Bare Minerals Prime Time. So this is a neutralizing primer um, and it is yellow based. And here I'm squirting it out. So I'm just sticking that everywhere but really focusing on this area here to neutralize all of that redness that I've got. Now obviously it's not ideal to even wear makeup when your skin is like this but you know you've got to go to work and you've got to face the world and it's just not easy just to face the world when you're not looking your best. Let's just be realistic and say that you've got to wear makeup every now and again. I'm also going to take another primer which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Now this is a um, blurring primer and I'm just taking a real pea-sized amount of that. Just sticking it again just over the areas where I've had the breakout and it kind of just fills in the gaps because my skin is so uneven. Take my sleek contour palette, really dirty, and I'm taking this yellow based colour here. This isn't what I would do every day but this is sort of a step that I would do if I'm heading out to more of an event where I feel more self-conscious of what's going on and I want to just cover it up for a few hours but I wouldn't advise using all of these steps every day because that will just make the problem worse. So I'm taking that yellow colour once again and just sticking it with my finger so that I can warm it up. Of course I've got really clean hands. I'm using my finger just to blend out that product on top of where I've got the blemishes. And you can kind of see the difference it makes already. But this again just works to neutralize the redness that I've got. Now something you've got to be really good with is making sure that you're clean all the time when your skin breaks out. So washing your hands, not touching your face too much, making sure that you're washing your brushes all the time, washing your pillowcases every few days, um, changing your sheets. I've even done things like wash my dressing gown that I wear all the time. Um, just to make sure that all of those germs that's caused this big flare up um, are being washed away. So yeah, just using my finger because it warms the product up and doesn't make it too thick. I'm just making sure that it's sort of blended in. Taking the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Foundation in Fair. I'm taking a pump and I'm just sticking it on the top of this Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to apply this to my face. So the way my skin is looking now is good. So that really gives you an indication of how bad it's been in the last month. Um, I've actually been too embarrassed to even film <laughs> but this is real life stuff 
and um, this happens to girls, to women and I'm 27 and it's still happening to me so I thought if I'm going through this there's going to be a lot of other people probably um, in a similar situation. What I did want to talk about was it's not just all about covering it up. When you have a situation like this it is an indication of what's going on inside. So to give you the backstory, I was doing the 8 week F45 8 week challenge and I was loving it and super healthy you know not eating any takeaways working out every day getting a good sweat on and then having a shower and really hit my straps and was feeling good about myself and then um i finished the challenge and my boyfriend is away a lot of the time and he came home for a couple of weeks for two weeks and when he got home typical i got my period and i got the flu. I was just so so sick for about a week and I just couldn't kick it and I sort of carried it I reckon for about three weeks and my skin just completely blew up. In the meantime while I was sick I wasn't looking after myself obviously I wasn't gymming I was eating absolute crap I just completely blew out I was eating takeaways all the sugar so you know back on having like four or five coffees a day not with any sugar in them um, eating chocolate and I just should know that when I eat too much chocolate it shows up on my face and just generally not taking any of my vitamins not looking after myself so I went from being super healthy to the absolute op opposite and just completely blowing out it's been a good lesson <laughs> that I just can't do that to my body, I have to look after my body. So, oh, you can probably hear it, but I'm sick again. Really bad, I had my beautiful friend Hannah here. I washed my face one day um, before we were ready to go out to reapply my makeup and I just blew up. Like I had, it was almost pulsating, my skin was so bad and it was oozing and it was awful and it just spread everywhere. Um, so what I did was I went into the pharmacy and I got some probiotics because I knew that it would probably be linked to my gut health. While I was in talking to the pharmacist in town, she said you should do a zinc test. So I took the zinc test and what do you know, it just tasted like water which meant that I was highly deficient in zinc. What zinc does is it is, um, sort of gives your body the ability to heal. So I got onto the zinc and the probiotics and my skin really did start to heal itself. I stopped using all of the products that I was using to strip my skin because you know you sort of just go into that, right, I need to just completely dry my skin out and um, I was using a Benzac wash, alcohol rich toners and so I stopped doing that. Basically I was washing my, my face with water and putting coconut oil on it at night and that was like all my skin could take because even using body wash was just making me super sensitive on my body so I think I was just in that breakdown mode then finally the other day I decided to go and get a facial where they were like why would you be stripping your skin when you don't have oily skin and that's basically what I already knew was it was, you know, diet and hormonal related. Made that splurge and bought some decent skincare. So I've just put some concealer under my eyes. A real tip, and probably a lot of you already know this, is you want to draw people away from the skin and um, towards, you know, an area of your face that looks nice. So um, for me, I've got lots of pimples around my mouth and up here so I don't want to draw people people's attention to my lips I want to draw attention to my eyes so I'm just going to set my under eye area with the hourglass ambient light powder which is just a nice translucent powder under here now you don't want to go too cakey of course when you are breaking out because everything just shows on the top of the skin so I'm just setting this area and then I'm going over the rest of my skin and I'm just going to lightly set it. It's the first time I've used this LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation and I really like it. $17, so um, if you're on a budget because you're having to splurge out on expensive skincare, this is a really good option. So now I'm taking the Mallow 
brow definer. I'm using an active cleanser which is something that I have always thought oh well you're just washing a cleanser off straight away surely that's not the place that you should spend the money but it's really made a difference and I also bought a serum and it's a hydrating serum because I've just stripped the layers of my skin back so much trying to dry out the acne that I've done more harm than good so what I'm doing is building that hydration barrier I don't know and then um, I'm going to get a little bit of microdermabrasion and hopefully that will fix the sort of congestion in the first place so yeah I'm actually going to vlog the whole thing so I'll take you along on my journey if you're interested it is I guess hard for younger girls maybe if you don't have the money to go and get a facial or get the active skincare what I would do if you're in that situation is really like I said get on to cleaning your space up change your sheets on your bed your pillow cases your makeup brushes and maybe talk to mum about if you would be able to go and get a facial or get a different cleanser that's not so expensive maybe but that can sort your skin out because you don't want to end up having awful scarring and the biggest thing is to always go and assess yourself and go yeah I've kind of not that it was my fault that I was sick but I ate crap so you sort of need to go right I'm going to eat really well, I'm going to get rid of the coffee in my life, switch to green tea, easier said than done, maybe get onto a probiotic, some vitamins, really making sure that you're looking after yourself and every small decision that you make that is a good one for yourself, you'll really feel so much better and eventually you'll start, start to see a change in your skin. I don't want to look completely flat so I do want to do a little bit of bronzing but just not too much. You want to just avoid this area as much as you can. So I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and I'm just taking a little bit and literally just putting it on those high points. I went to the doctor because I just couldn't get better and um, my lovely doctor gave me three months supply of antibiotics and I was just like no I don't want to go down that route because I worked really hard on my gut health. I've held off on the antibiotics rather than sort of a bandage fix of the whole thing I wanted to do it properly and just start looking after myself the thing is is that we as women go through so much with our hormones even just once a month when we get our periods you know but if you go off the pill if you're going on the pill end up getting sensitive to things like dairy as you get older it's just a pain you, you start a new skincare regime um, you can have a whole lot of stress in your life and that makes your skin break out and it's unfortunate but it's just life so I thought that hopefully this video could be handy for some of you if you're going through something similar to me. This has been one of those times where my boyfriend's been away and I've been like this is kind of good. I really even though he would not judge me at all have not wanted him around my horrendous skin right now. I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Um, this is my sister's palette. My favourite eyeshadow colour, this Salted Caramel. And I'm just going to stick that in my crease and windscreen wipers to blend it out. I'm going to add a little bit more. I just want to make sure that it's really blended out and I put quite a lot under my eye as well. So now I'm taking this milk chocolate colour and it's I've got this brush by the Vintage Company and I'm just going to put this in the outer third of my eye down like this. But of course always blending it into the crease as well but I'm being more precise with where I'm putting it okay so I'm taking the brush that I used with the hazelnut color and um, I am blending that out so that I don't have harsh lines it's the worst thing ever in the morning when your skin is awful and you've got to put makeup on because you just know how bad it is so if your skin is bad you want to make sure that if you are wearing makeup during the weekdays that you just have weekends where 
you maybe don't face the world and you sit at home and you drink green tea and lots and lots of water and you get that skin back on track and just let it breathe. So I ended up taking a little bit more of that colour and sticking it into my crease to do more of a smoked out look. Taking uh, the other brush again and just making sure that I'm blending this colour out under my eyes. Now for a pop of colour I'm taking this cream brulee and I want to put this in the centre, on the centre of my eyelid as a pop of colour. And I'm actually just bringing it down now and yeah. So concentrate the colour on the top of the eyelid here and use what's left on the brush down into here. Now I'm taking the blending brush I was using before and just blending the crease out again. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal Super Liner. I just want to draw a neat line across my eyelid and up the only thing about these felt tip liners is I feel like they dry out quite quickly so I've done a pretty dramatic cat eye and now I want to just clean up the sides a little bit where I've got this eyeshadow, you see, so I'm taking a definer brush again and a little bit of my concealer which is the select, the MAC Select cover up and I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush, just a tiny bit and I'm just going to take it like this and just completely, see the difference it makes, clean that area up. Man, who else is hanging for summer and not being sick constantly? Okay, and just to um, make sure that's all blended out, just taking that foundation brush again and just making sure that there's no harsh lines. 24 hour um, L'Oreal whoop, L'Oreal uh, mascara. Alright, so you just want to make sure that you put a lot on because this is what finishes the eye look off but also just once again keeps the attention on the eyes and not the skin. I'm going to do the bottom lashes as well. I'm taking my Stila cream blush and I'm just taking a little bit on a brush applying a tiny little bit to my cheeks. Now just to keep the lips nude I'm taking the MAC Whirl Lip Liner and outlining my lips. Now I'm taking a slightly lighter um, lipstick. This is a Revlon stick and it's in the colour 230. And this is one of those products that I'll probably purchase again once I've finished with it because it's really beautiful. So I'm just applying that all over. This is the finished look. I really love it. Like I say, I feel like you're just more drawn into my eye area than anywhere else. Um, it's not too heavy, but yeah, the foundation that I used is a medium to full coverage, but it's not too heavy. You can see that I still look dewy and hydrated. Um, it's not sticking or clinging to those areas where I've got the breakout, and I haven't used too much powder in those areas either. So because I haven't used as much powder, you might need to touch up throughout the day. Look after yourself. Plenty of sleep, plenty of water, green tea and keep everything really clean. I will update you on how my skin is going in a couple of weeks. Hopefully it'll be better than it is now and 
I'll keep you updated on my journey with the facials as well. So thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and share with any of your friends that may be struggling with acne at the moment. Bye.